He had all sorts of things to say, but there was very, there was no evidence. You don't even know what oppressed means, and you don't know what people mean. If you know what right and wrong is, if you stand on the side of right, you ought to demand that the colonizer repairs and restores the wrong they did when they stole stuff from from people, and demand that they repair and 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 repair that wrong by uh, returning those resources, whether you call it reparations or not. And I just wanted to say that, and I'm gonna get off because I know other people, and uh, you know, might want to say something. To you hear around the head, brother. You hear around the head. Hear around the head. Oh, hello, brother. We have one caller online before we get back to the sister penny. All right, let's. We got thirty seconds. Whoa, wow. Let's let's go. Let's get more. Hello. Yeah. Hey, Levi. I'm from Plantation. All right, Levi. What's happening, man? Thanks for taking my call. Thank you, um, for the show. Thank you for your guest. And I'd like to remind people that on May twenty fifth, uh, Tuesday is. Uh, uh, African Liberation Day. That's right. It's when the Organization mm -hmm. of African Unity was formed in 1963, uh, the Emperor of Ethiopia, Ali Selassie, had brought together more the leaders of the African continent uh, in one place at one time than ever before. And it was all the uh, leaders, uh, 32 countries signed the charter uh, to uh, work amongst each other and to utilize the resources of Africa uh, for the betterment of the African people. And this was at the time when the push was, uh, you know, for the, they called the independence of these countries, except a lot of these leaders uh, would be overthrown uh, within the uh, few years to come from this pact. Yeah, decolonization was happening at the same time desegregation movement was going on here. Yep. yep. May yeah. 25th on Tuesday, African Liberation Day, the formation of the OAU. You all have a blessed day. All right. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Levi. Yeah, this, this is very true. This is very true. Um, I was, I remember, um, Ms. Penny, you still with us? Yes, I'm still here. Um, I remember reading that, that we, that we had the, uh, uh, about his coronation, yeah, and and Langston Hughes was there, and everybody, you know, Mayor McLeod, but through all this, Mayor McLeod, but through all these people had flown over for his for his coronation. The promises that he made, and and, and the fears that he had expressed, those those fears of right. of invasion, right, right, by the Italians who would threaten constantly to to come there, and uh, what the irony of that is that he looked to Adolf Hitler for help. He looked to Adolf Hitler for help. Yeah. That's the irony of that entire thing. Hello? Yes, who's this? Hey. Hi. Who are, who is this? You may go. I'm the uh, co-host for oh. Sunday Form. Great. Okay, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Am I the first caller? Yeah. All right, cool. This is Levi. I'm on the Polk Plantation. But you can okay. say Winter Haven if you feel more comfortable. Okay, I'll uh, put you on a brief hold, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Our first call is from Levi, Pope Plantation. Levi, what's going on, man? What's up, Walter? How you doing today? All right, brother. How you doing? You got the funk rocking on me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I really wanted to put something in perspective for your audience, man. A few uh, weeks ago, uh, you know, you had said that um, Haile Selassie, the Emperor of Ethiopia, had looked towards uh, Hitler yes. uh, for assistance. Now, was that something that you had, where did you get that information from? Uh, there's a book called uh, At Last We Are Africans. Uh, if you look in that in that book, you will find uh, what happened uh, when they were in the early years when uh, Italy was talking about invading. At that particular point, Italy had not had not uh, had not made an alliance with the Nazis at that point, uh, and that the uh, they, they were afraid that the, the Ethiopians were were afraid of the of the uh, invasion that they knew was coming from the Italians because they continued to threaten it. Uh, and the League of Nations was one of, was, uh, 
was being formed as a result of, of, of actually as a result of some of these things that happened with uh, Ethiopia. Well, these are nations that already formed in 1923, and uh, the information might come from an interview the emperor had did in 1959 with a French publication, which asked them who provided the most assistance. His answer was Germany. To, to, to put this in perspective, the year is 1935. Uh, Ethiopia is being invaded by the Romans. The Ethiopians are used by the, by the Italians. By the, by the Italians, uh -huh. who are, you know, the Ethiopians are fighting with these archaic weapons, and and the Italians are getting pushed back. So they begin to use the chemical uh, mustard gas and spraying it. You know, with that does people all kinds of uh, life. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the uh, the emperor had uh, uh, appealed for assistance from the League, which was the whole design of the, the process to help for the smaller countries, uh, you know, in this kind of situation. Right. And there was, uh, you know, international law against this uh, use of this uh, chemical weapon. Uh, mm -hmm. The League did not come to this aid. The emperor had requested, uh, paid for uh, a, a military equipment and weaponry uh, that was being held up in, in Djibouti, the, you know, uh, French Somali land. Uh, so the emperor, uh, uh, you know, may be the best judge, uh, you know, as to who provides the best assistance. But I think uh, everything should be taken into context. You know, when the uh, weaponry is being held up by the, the French, uh, you know, and the uh, the British are not uh, are, uh, coming to, to the agreement of the, of the League of Nations. Uh, you know, perhaps that was enough reason that Germany actually did provide enough assistance, although there was no specification about what that was. Now this is not- And they double-crossed them. They, they, they double-crossed them regardless. Walter, let me just say, please, mm. this is three years before any invasion of Germany on the European. We know that the be real beginning of World War II happened with the invasion of Ethiopia, but they won't write that into history. No, they won't. And once the British knew their land was being invaded in Africa, they needed the emperor to assist them to drive out uh, these, these, uh, these fast, you know. And so 1935, three years before, you know, Czechoslovakia was invaded, um, four years, I think, 1939. Um, you know, there was no off switch. I don't think the world heard about this Holocaust thing until 20 years later, you know. And so these, these kinds of things, I think, are very important. When you say that the Emperor Haile Selassie, I look towards Hitler for assistance, you know. I think I'm digging you very right. You're very right. You don't have any right to be here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This is an independent investigation. Call the cops. Call yep. the cops. You need to this leave right now. You need to leave right now. This guy threatened me. You see what I'm saying? Keep on. You see what I'm saying? Keep on. 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 Keep on.